Hey there, this is Samich, and welcome back to Golden Sun. Last time, we made it here to Billabin, and learned that a curse is turning people into trees. This time, we are going to take a little detour and do something that I forgot to do last time. Not even a big old detour, it's still right here in town. Just go around here. This whirlwind. In we go. Down the ladder. And here's that statue we saw earlier. And the Ginny. Comes without a fight. Jupiter Ginny Gust. Now, attack with Mighty Wind Gusts. Give it to him and he gets a little boost. And now we're going to go up to the manor, see what's going on with the people here. McCoy's Palace. First though, catch me this nut. Self-centered woman, aren't you? Very, very self-centered. I agree. Stop building the palace. People stop getting turned into trees. Not yet, no. Well... Lord McCoy's wife seems kind of self-centered, but who knows? Maybe she has a kind heart. The well is dried up. Let's try to get in. I'm brave, I'm mighty. Sweet. Screw you, I'm awesome. Well, I'm gonna explore a little first before going to see Mr. McCoy. Yep. Doesn't sound good. I'll try. Why is everyone in this town so self centered? Yay, an elixir. I don't even remember what those do. Cures delusion, stun, and sleep. Lord McCoy is probably upset that his wife's an evil person and, well, not evil, a self-centered person that made them cut down a sacred tree and, in return, is being cursed. I don't know what I'm saying. Hmm. Apparently Kalima Forest might be dying. That's kind of upsetting. Screw you, I'll touch whatever I want. Get out of my way!
Isaac, put that back. It's funny because women's night clothes. Sweetie's Gifts. It's the list of gifts Lord McCoy has bought his wife. It's pretty long. Now, I ain't saying she's a gold digger. But that's pretty much what I'm saying. It's quite obvious who all the money in the relationship is. Isaac got a smoke bomb. I do find it odd that the A button is both the menu and the, um, accept button. Like, it's select too, why can't it just be select? It's a little strange. They are Billabin's great treasures! Apparently, if I solve the curse, I can get these treasures. Yay. Well, let's go on and see Lord McCoy. New warriors, you say? sent many a men into Kalima Forest, but not a one has returned. These warriors, did you get a good look at them? Come closer, laddie. Hey, are these the ones you were talking about? They're but children. And you expect me to believe you can save Kalima. Uh, well, I'll grant you a brave lot. Here, this key will get you past the barricades to the east. Even with the key, such wee lads as yourselves will never reach Kalima. Well, duh, we are children. A little bit, yeah. So you've decided to accept our little job. Of course, we're awesome. And we're the main characters. We can't get turned into trees. At least we all agree on something. Call themselves warriors, but they're not but we children. Aye, these are desperate times, but I cannot send such wee lads to their doom. We cannot give up hope on our other champions. I cannot do a good Scottish accent. We cannot send you into certain doom. I keep, like, shifting between Scottish and something I don't even know. You can go once things have settled down. Ah, it's for your own good, lad. I didn't want to talk about it anymore. Captain? Yep, kind of sucks. What can we do? Uh, no. We're gonna go to there. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Sorry, lads, but Kalima's future is betless left to more experienced men. Well, 
at this point, you can actually do one of two things. You can either take their uh, advice and ignore going to Kalima and go north to Emil, or you can go east and try to get into Kalima. Now, both of these kind of had their advantages, and if you go to Kalima now, you will have to come back there later anyways, but Kalima's a lot easier, and it's kind of the way you're supposed to kind of go. So, uh, that's the one I'm doing first. Going east, going to Kalima. Rats and rat soldiers. And Ivan has no PP because I was busy, uh, talking to everyone and, uh, reading their minds. Merc. Isaac is now a level 6 squire. Not bad. And here we are at Bilibin Barricade. This area is off limits to all without a permit, Lord McCoy. The door is tightly locked. Oh no, I guess we can't go through here. Oh no. What is this? Oh hey, we can get through. Woo! 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 There's a tree that looks like a person. So heavy. Four trees. Anyways, continuing on. We have over here somewhere is a hidden item. I think it's this. I think it's in here. You just press A and you get the turtle boots, which lower your speed by a ton, or it lowers your agility by a ton, but increases your defense by a little bit. They're not exactly incredibly useful, but I always give them to Garrett because he's already so slow anyways, being a lot slower doesn't matter that much. So he gets a little boost of defense and a little less speed. See if I can kill these guys without using any PP. No, I can't. Oh well, I'll kill them next turn. To Kolima! Kill them all. Come on, Earthquake. Kill them all. Come on, Fire. Kill them all. Okay, good job. Good going. Anyways, up there's Kalima Forest, but we're not going there for now. Instead, we're just going to regular old Kalima. So quiet. This tree was a person. Yep, 
Yeah, because tree getting cut down, evil, holy trees, etc. Probably falling unconscious helped me. Pain. Sweet! We can move. Moving is good. Kinda did, yeah. That's a seems to be a convenient plot device. Would be pretty neat, yeah. Here comes that shiny, glowy stuff again. Why? Why don't they turn into trees? Who are they? Are these who are immune to Tret's glamour? Have they come to save that village with their strange powers? It will not be enough to save the people of Kalima. They have earned their fate. Kalima took their axes to me, and now I shall take mine to them. You children may not know this, but we are dying. And Kalima Force will wither and die when we are gone. We are not the only ones who will die, Laurel. Once we are gone, they too will go. Tret was once a kindly Forest King, but he is slowly dying, and his heart has torn in two. His wrathful side turned the people of Kalima into trees. Kind Tret speaks no more. Who? The kindly heart invites destruction. I need no kindness. If you wish to save those whom Tret turned into trees, you must reawake, bleh, reawaken his gentle side. But if you cannot stop Tret from withering, we all will. Look for Tret deep within the forest. It's no use, Laurel. Humans cannot be trusted. I shall die, and the rest of the forest will die with me. We can help him! No, I do not. So, now we can explore Kalima. 
I can speak, I'll tell them this is Kalima, Village of Lunderjacks. How am I supposed to charge people for their own rooms if I'm a tree? Poor people, not being people anymore. Yay, a lucky medal. Oops, meant to give both of them to him. Anyways, we cannot really do much in town, just look for items, mine read trees, etc. But we can get one thing here. That is quite useful. That is the sound you make when you meditate. Ug uga gugua. I can't move, then mom can't make me go to bed! Yay! Hey look, a Ginny. This secret back door is the way to get to this Ginny. Now, anyways, you can get it easier later. Anyways, you need to go through here. And get into a random encounter! Alright. Let's save some PP for, uh, Ivan. Isaac is now a level 6 guard and learned Flare Wall. Alright. Flare Wall is slightly stronger than Fire. Come on, Garrett, finish. Actually, I think that is the only way to get it. I don't know what I was thinking. Easier later. Joins without a fight. The Venus Ginny Granites joined Isaac. Let's set it to create a mighty earthen barrier. Quite useful, and increases all of his stats by quite a bit, and upgrades him to a knight. Very good. As you can see, when you equip a certain amount of gin, or change your gin, your class can change. Knight is pretty much just a better squire. All of his stats go up by quite a bit, he gains quite a large amount of HP and defense and agility, and all in all, he's just pretty powerful. Using gin in battle will then downgrade your defense to your previous class. So, yeah, pretty much just what I just said. And easy peasy. Keep going. Get out of here. Come on, Earthquake, kill him. Isaac's now more powerful than should... Didn't do anything. Awesome. Really? And 
That's what I get for trying to save PP. -P. This frickin' rat keeps slaughtering me. And now we're out of here. Guess I can use some of these herbs. I got tons of them. And read more people's minds. That would be kind of a cruddy fade, being stuck as a tree forever. If you say so. I would mind if I was old and turned into a tree. I don't think I'd ever want to be turned into a tree. Dictionary of Trees and Flowers. This book describes every species of tree and flower in Angara. His treasure, by the way, is that gin. And I already got it, so, uh... No need to ponder. I used to carve weapons out of wood. Now I am wood. Life's funny like that. Eh. Your weapon guy was more philosophical. Screw you, I'm awesome. Mighty warrior with a thick beard. The holy tree of Kolima Forest. Tret and Laurel are the spirits of the holy trees protecting Kolima Forest. So the once gentle spirits are now turning into bitter people because they keep cutting them down. Stop cutting down the trees. Seven coins. One must study trees and trains one's body well before logging. And what he said, just doing your job, well, how many atrocities have been committed because people said that they were just doing their jobs? A lot, probably. I don't know the exact number. Anyways. Finished exploring. Ooh, an apple. Boosts attack. Now, I would like to give this to... Isaac, because... Isaac's a very good physical attacker. And, now that we have finished exploring Kolima, next time on Golden Sun, we shall head into Kolima Forest. See if we can stop the madness. See you guys then.